So I'm going to show you how to plug a hole in a boiler. What we're looking at is the drain port of my home heating boiler. And in the middle of a heating season, I had the bright idea to drain and refill just to flush things out. So I grabbed a hold of my drain port valve and went to open it, and instead, the entire thing broke right off. That was down here. So I was left with a, it's about a three quarter inch gaping hole in the bottom of my boiler. And I certainly did not want to have to replace the whole boiler. So here's what I came up with to fix it. First off, I cut this access hole in the side panel so that I could get in there and, and see things and work on it. And I used a grinder to smooth the surface out so I had a relatively flat surface, which uh, is gonna be important. And went to Home Depot to see what I come up with. And what I came up with is this. And what this is, is a toggle bolt with small neoprene washer. This is optional depending on your toggle bolt, but uh, it's basically if using a toggle bolt to press a fender washer with some neoprene gasket washers to suck that in and I'll show you. So this will go in, pop open, lock against the inside, tighten that down, and that's going to press these gaskets tight and seal up the hole. This is one that I pulled out. This is my third time uh, doing this repair because obviously you put uh, just regular steel inside of a cast iron boiler. It's not gonna last very long. Uh, this obviously broke into pieces coming out, so this was in there way too long. I mean, you can even see how that uh, how that screw's corroded down. Um, this was a quarter inch toggle bolt, just standard off the shelf from, like I said, Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, it's just regular steel that wasn't galvanized. I tried to find a source to get a stainless steel toggle bolt of this size and I was not able to find anything. Um, but like I said, this is my third time doing this. This standard metal toggle bolt will last for, for, for me, an entire heating season is six to seven months. One of these will last just fine for that duration. Um, this one has probably been in there almost a year, although the heating season was only six or like probably seven months of that. I just didn't, uh, pull it out all summer. I waited till fall now, but, uh, and you can see the gasket kind of gets sucked in from the heat. So when I was looking, neoprene rubber is supposed to have a working temperature of up to about 250, which obviously a, I'm assuming a cast iron boiler gets a lot higher than that, but it's held up just fine. I'll occasionally, maybe twice through a heating season, I'll put a screwdriver on this and just make sure it's snug, just in case something loosened up due to expansion and contraction. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a screw gun on there and get that tightened up but uh for a few bucks this uh has done a great job let me get down here uh it'll i haven't screwed it in yet that'll uh that'll seal up and keep this boiler running for several more years so good luck hope it works for you here's a quick look at the some of the parts that i use besides the quarter inch by about three inch toggle bolt for a large fender washer. It's quarter inch by inch and a quarter, same size 
in the neoprene rubber washer, quarter inch internal, the internal hole, quarter inch, inch and a quarter outside, and the thickness is 1 16th. And I use two. I, I, I've been putting two of these washer, the rubber ones. Um, and then to seal between the screw head and the metal washer, that's uh, a quarter inch. That's what they look like. I don't know what the outside diameter is, but uh, that's the package, quarter inch 